Hello and welcome to Business Connects Indo Global Entrepreneurship Conclave 2022. And we have with us our special guest, Mr. Nitesh. I would like to know, um, you know, firstly, I would like to know your reaction to the conclave. How are you feeling? Are you excited? No, definitely. I think uh, it's a recognition of all the entrepreneurs across India, right, who are doing innovative work in their field. So it's good to be here. It's good to hear the different perspective coming not just from the private industry but also from the government sector as well. So it feels good. That's great to know. And uh, I got to know that uh, Secumen is uh, also begging an award. So what's your take on that? How would you like to address the global audience in this regard? Sure. I think as a company, uh, the thing which really differenti uh, differentiates Secumen is in terms of our focus. So we are the only company in the world which works only with cybersecurity product companies. You will not find any other company which really does that exclusively, right? So because of that, that focus, right, we have been having 100% yeah, year-on-year growth for the last few years, including COVID in that way. And uh, to the work, what we do in the cybersecurity product engineering space is something very well recognized and, uh, you know, is something this is one other award which has got added to the list there, right? So very happy with that. Definitely, definitely. I can understand. And uh, as you mentioned COVID, uh, you know, COVID-19 scenario. So I would like to question you on this that do you believe that, uh, you know, the situation for businesses is improving because, um, you know, it's very much important. Uh, the crisis that we have faced in past two years is very much unforeseen for the mankind. So, sure. so. so I think I remember March 2020, right, yeah, which yeah. that the moment it blew up, right, is people really thought it's the end of the world, yeah, yeah. right, <laughs> is, uh, but I think it, it's a learning for everyone that, uh, you know, we have survived tough times and COVID was just one of the factors which shook every business literally to the core. I think except for a few business which thrived in that is, yes. for a few of them it, it became as a, or many of them actually got wiped out. I think for Sacramen, right, as I said, is we had 100% year-on-year growth even during COVID times. So we had a minor blip uh, during the COVID times, but I think we recovered well. I mean, COVID taught us in many ways, right, is you cannot take things for granted. You need to be con consistently be innovating. There were many new ideas which we applied during that time, which you would not have thought of in a regular times in that way. So I think that way, uh, you know, it has been a very, very, I would say the most challenging one, but I would say the most fulfilling phase of the journey so far for Sacumen. Okay, that's great to know, Mr. Nitesh. So, uh, my friend Sani, he'll be asking you a few questions as well. So, I'll be, uh, you know, handing over the mic to him. Please. Thank you, cousin. And once again, sir, welcome to the conclave. Um, sir, uh, like you mentioned, yes, COVID-19 was distressful for so many of us. Um, so we would like to know, the audience would like to know, uh, what's the future vision of the company, sir? What, uh, one year down the line, two years down the line, so forth and so forth, yeah. I think, uh, for the next five years, uh, as a company, we would want to continue with the 100% year-on-year growth, that's one. We would want a product arm to bring 70% bring of the revenue uh, uh, at that point of time and 30% from the services. And I think the third one is we would like to build those army of leaders, right, who go on to do big things in their life. Is uh, whether they stay at Sacumen or not is something. Uh, they have become better version of themselves, right? And they, they may start their own companies and, you know, scale up to a scale which is much more, maybe 10x times of Sacumen, right? We want to build that legacy of those uh, leaders, right, who do a very impactful work in the cybersecurity space. So that's what we are looking for. Um, one more question from my side, sir. Um, say we, are, we have so many entrepreneurs who are looking up um, to those people who are successful. And as you are one of them, um, what would be the mantra or, or the advice that you can you like to share with the new entrepreneurs? So, so there was a time where startup was looked down upon, right, is if you ventured into a startup means there was something fundamentally wrong with you. Now the time has changed where if you are not in a startup or not doing things, something, you are, you know, missing the fun or people sort of, uh, you know, don't say, uh, I would say is, uh, you know, the sort of drive what they get, right, is sometimes they feel they can only get it in startup. So things have changed in that way, but I think it, 
also uh, sort of uh, many of the people right who wants to do uh, you know get into a startup i think they do based on what they are just seeing around right they read this whole story of overnight success you know people making just lot of money right is on and just developing one app but there's no concept of overnight success right is it never happens like that so for all those entrepreneurs i would say is you need to believe in yourself and first identify what problem you want to really solve right and uh, not just that can you really solve it to a scale which it you know which can build a global company in that way and uh, are you the best uh, person right to do it there if you have all things in affirmation i think uh, you know you you should go for it as a, but don't just jump into the the startup world just because you have heard your you know some of your colleagues or something you know had success story there no one goes and see those hard work you know the late nights and you know the sacrifices both at professional and personal level right which a person has to go through so there's no overnight success the old school still hold good very with that way right hard work focus and the ability to say no to many things which may come on the way and just focus on what you want to achieve in your vision there that could be my my advice to the fellow entrepreneurs there it was quite inspiring mr nitesh definitely and i feel that uh, this uh, philosophy and this um, you know token of advice that you have shared with our global audience will provide them with a motivational booster definitely <laughs> so due to time constraint we will have to put an end to this conversation sure. and uh, but uh, definitely i would like to know that is there any feedback that you would like to provide business connect with regarding the whole conclave yes i think it's more of uh, i would say if you look at the organization is fantastic right is the only feedback i would have is in terms of people adhering to the timeline when they are speaking up you know i think uh, yes people want to share a lot of thoughts in that way i think that's the only thing you need to watch out where where typically in conferences right they, they do have a buzzer there so it's a reminder for the person so that you know we uh, you know we respect each other's time in that way other than that uh, you know the 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 planning everything is all the organization is prepared very well that way that's the only thing thank you so much for that and we would like to thank you uh, for your precious time that you have provided uh, us with and soon we will be uh, conducting uh, you know the next conclave uh, on the quarterly basis we have decided so far so let's uh, we hope that yes, we, we see hope you to see you again yeah to see you again next conclave so thank you very much for precious time have a nice day ahead enjoy please thank you thank